Okay, okay so we're off on the ground walk. So we're just coming at the turnstile, turn right. We head round this little bit here. And uh, <coughs> we come to. I've not seen this in many grounds at our level. The seated stand behind it. No, so they, we've got three seated. So, no, is it seated at the far end as well? No, it's not. Well. So there's three. Yeah, there is actually. Look at the seats at every end, at every side here. So this is a pretty decent we'll seated stand up, here. We'll probably end up so it's a pretty decent seated stand. We're just going to come to the back and have a look at the uh, seat. And so if you sat at the back, it's not a bad view. It's not a bad view. It's just, it's just a bit weird to have your biggest seated stand at the end. But if it works for them, it works for them. The roof looks like it's decent. <laughs> looks like it's stopping any uh, rain coming in. Some toilets here, which actually I've got to commend them on this having toilets sort of not all at the same side yeah. having them a little bit round so you have to walk as far depending where you are on the ground yep so the pitch looks all right because of the amount of rain we've had there's, um, there's a post on there social media for the ground it work, so, uh, yeah, it's good. so this is this is the uh, one step Standing, it does look like if it was uh, if it was a little bit of wind, you're a bit screwed. Yeah, it looks like it come in that, but either way, I mean, it's not too bad. And there's a bar in the stand that's brilliant with the toilets just there. That is smashing. That we should stand here. Yeah, I think we'll probably end up standing at one because there's a, uh, another standing terrace on the other side. Yeah, which I'm assuming it's similar. Here's a uh, I'm a bit confused here, Chris. Oh no, there's the other dugout, the other side of this stands. There's one dugout. That's the home dugout. Yeah, the dugouts are just very spaced out. Usually they're a bit closer. It's another little seated stand. Got the step there. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the step, wasn't looking. Ground's on a slope. Right, now I see it. I see it. Now the, gra the, the pitch is on a slope. Very it's not as bad as some places, Clitheroe, <laughs> but it's uh, it's the still a slope. There is, well, oh yeah, that is the way you want it. Has it in it? I thought you were just making a guess. No, no, I saw the home. Yeah, it's, it's the other no bar in this one. There's no bar in this one, but it's a it's a good sized area, and I know the roof might not be that great, yeah. but it's Actually, something. I, I do like this. Right, and I think we'll probably end up standing maybe standing there. I don't know where. Definitely when we're shooting that, we'll stand at the other terrace, I would imagine. It's, a, it's still a covered end, isn't it? Yeah. It's still covered side. I mean, if, as long as you've got enough decent... enough decent stands. There's, a, there's enough room here for a kickabout, if you want a kickabout. <laughs> there's even a goal behind here for the kids to play. As long as they don't put it over the stand and put Shoot, it in. The shooting practice. Yeah, don't put it over and put it into the... Uh, into the this is very small. Yeah. It's a very small terrace. Well, it feels like it should go further back. It, yeah, the roof goes further back. Quite compact in a way that it was great. Yeah. So another another seated area. Margie out there. A little bit of training. Bit of coaching. Yeah. Margie and Harry Winter. Yeah, so. Let's wrap it up today, yeah? Huh? Let's wrap it up today. No, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could just party next week at Prescott then. That was not wrong. This is decent as well. Nice tables by the side. I mean, obviously, we'll just ignore the. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit messy, but, but but like just generally having a bit of a. Yeah, I quite like this. Having some tables and there's Adrian, our groundsman. The pitch does look all right, apart from there is a patch, oh, some patch, patches yeah. here. Yeah. But I think that's the back of this is. I'll have to say, Yeah. Very nice. How are you doing, chap? Not too bad. Sure, Just saying, know. the picture looks absolutely brilliant apart from 30% yeah. of it. <laughs> yeah. They've had a lot of bad weather, though, isn't yeah. it? Well, we all have to be fair. We still, I mean, I'm, 
So it, look, it, it looks it looks good, it looks good, it looks good, and then there's patches. Just up there, past them yellow things. So not around the back there. No, go on, I went out that way. Where it says keep a snack around up there. It's like a little like burger van. Uh, is it not? Uh, where's the bar? There, toilets and bar up there. Oh, it's not that way. Yeah. There's there's a sign there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I'm still filming. Okay. <laughs> we can edit all this out. <laughs> so if I... How's it going? Maybe we were talking about you. <laughs> we can get in this way. Just, uh, can we? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> oh, we'll try that then today, definitely. Right, changing rooms. It's definitely not that open. No, this is it. Alright, it's a nice big clubhouse. It's a good clubhouse. Glen Matthews or Glen? Glen Matthews, yeah. It's Glen. Glen. No, look at that, a decent sized clubhouse, got a pool table in it. Every clubhouse in the league. Yeah. yeah. Very nice, a very nice clock. Yeah, but it's quite a nice clubhouse, I quite like this. It's just, it gets a good atmosphere. See, if you had this next week at the end of the end of the season, you have a right part, couldn't you? Yeah. Well, I like it. What I like about it, it's nice, fancy, but like low ceiling. It doesn't look dead modern, and like you know, like, like has a cosy feeling. Yeah, like good atmosphere. Maybe a lot of fun. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, creates that atmosphere. it does, doesn't it? Right. So, shall we just get a? Shall we get a drink? Yeah, and then we'll do a food review. Maybe. And then, we'll, and then we'll do a food review. Yeah. Right. right. And then we'll do a food review. Yeah. yeah. So hello and welcome to another edition of Trafford Tales. We're, it's the final away game of the season against Kidgrove. We're all official today. Only pitching him board behind us. Yes. Robert. So uh, yeah, we're at Kidgrove. Um, so we've uh, you'll have just just seen the ground walk. Yeah, in the clubhouse. In the clubhouse. Epic yep. again. Like it's better than ever. <laughs> everyone's better than ours. But um, yeah, all the so are, yeah. yeah. So um, story today. Um, Kidgrove, one place above us. Yeah. We're so 18. It should be a yeah. close game. So they're safe. Yes. We can. So I, I, I ran through the permutations this morning. So we can avoid. Oh, one second, let me just adjust my hand. Um, we can avoid the drop today uh, and um, stay in the division for another season if we win. So just focus yeah. on ourselves. We can. We, we win. We're safe. However, if we draw and Hensford draw or they lose, we're safe. And if we both lose, we're also safe because yeah. we're four points above Hensford with two games to go. So fully in our hands. Yes, but fully in our hands. If we win, we're safe. Um, yeah. So that, that's kind of where we are. Uh, we, we haven't seen team news yet, so we'll bring that on when we when we see it. Yes, we will. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping for a good good day today. I think you know, I'm hoping that the um, the fans are up for today. Um, with a bit of banter on, on, on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, well, between our fans and their fans. What you want to do is check out the video that was uh, put up on X. Um, from, from, uh, from the kids' group. 1024. Yeah. I'm out from Trafford Stole the Pig. <laughs> so there may be a pig that appears on the vlog later today. Someone's bought an inflatable pig. So that may so, be floating around in the stand later today. There might be some jokes about that later, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. About the inflatable pigs. Yes. So, yeah, so. Um, yeah, but um, what, how do you predict today's game, Chris? Yes, so I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to go with 2-1. It'll be a close game, I think. I think Even we'll win 3-1. 3-1, 2-1. Yes, and uh, you, you, you don't know what you're going to get this season from no. us. I mean, Vauxhall used to be played well, beat them 2-1. There, need, there needs to be a response. There needs well, to be a I know there has to be. Last week was one of the worst games I've seen us play all season. Yeah. And um, it might not have even been the worst, but it, was, it was, wasn't It was good. I mean, if you watch the Witten vlog, the first 25 minutes, I felt we were in it. Yeah. I felt we were holding our own. It was a 50-50 game. Then once they scored, we just sort of capitulated a little bit and just. Yeah. I think they just overran us and just outplayed us from there on in. And yeah. it was a, then it was like an hour of just like we were just struggling to get our foot back in the game. Yeah. And it, it is what it is. These things happen, and they're not a bad side. Witten, they're a pretty decent side. Um, they've got their own back for the four 0 at their place earlier in the season. So. 
Can't complain. We don't, we don't want to dwell on that game too much. That's gone. We're no, it's different. gone. All I'm saying is, is that I think we should we should just forget about that. The players' minds are clear. Yeah. We're just going to got a job to do response. today, and we just want to get it done because the last thing we want to do is go to get Prescott at home next week when they're still pushing for, for where to place in the league. Yeah. It looks like them. They're definitely in the playoffs now. Yeah. Um. And they're trying to you know trying to push themselves up higher positions. up. Yeah. Where yeah, they can play. Positions. So yeah. Yeah. It's in our hands, and that's what I think Marge will be saying to the boys today. Yeah. Just go and win. What I gotta do? Yeah, just go Good performance. We've got to have a response. Go there and smash it. Anyway, so let's. We're gonna go get some food. And might, you might see a food review a bit. In yeah. fact, you will see a food yeah, review. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> right, catch you in a bit, right. folks. Right, so we've got Trafford Tales food review here. Chris has gone for a. What have you gone for, Chris? I've gone for a bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. Which you don't usually get bacon, like you said at Vauxhall, you don't usually get bacon at these grounds. No. So I'm pretty chuffed because you never get often no. a bacon cheeseburger. And they offered me onions as well. Yeah. And that, know, that's a shout out to a previous one. Yes. So uh, just for, for, for clarity, because we love a bit of clarity here on this channel, I've also gone for a bacon burger. No cheese, because I'm not a cheese fan for anyone that knows me. So how much um, was yours? Four quid? Uh, 350 Matt. Well, four quid with the bacon, sorry. So yours was 450 with the that bacon. Was £4.50. Mm. So for a bacon cheeseburger with onions, that's a good price. Yeah. 50. Let's see how it stacks up in the taste. Bacon's decent. Good. Juicy. Yeah, the bacon the bacon's decent and it's actually cooked by I like it to be cooked. Nice. Burger slightly bland, but with the price and the bacon and the cheese and you the overall product. You it's a winner. I think it's well worth four fifty. This yeah. is a good burger, this. Meat to bum ratio, where we what we're saying? We're good. That's good. Yeah. Looking looking if like it it's... If didn't have the bacon, yeah. I don't think it'd be too great, but because I've got the bacon, yeah. it makes it absolutely right. The meat to bun ratio is That's fair. That's what we're giving it. On a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give it a uh, pretty good. Good. It's pretty good. Right, you know, that, for money. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, as you know, this channel goes, that's a, that's an excellent review. It's a glowing review. It is. Well, it's because you don't get bacon. Yeah, the fact yeah. They have bacon. It's a luxury. It's like next level, and for the price. And also, I've just noticed, Chris, that they have a radio station up there. Oh yes, we might have to tell. Uh, what's the name about that? Um, I'll put it on. We'll have to put it on the uh, traffic sports group. Yeah, because. Um, Sniffer was asking about that, so uh, was, yeah. yeah. So we'll have to definitely mention about that. Well, yeah, anyway, anyway, that was just that's just because I saw it. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, so. Got a couple of double up here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, point is, is that that is worth it, and that is a good food review. Excellent. Well done, Kids Grove. Good food review. Well done, Kids Grove. Huh? Hot off the press. Team news. So we've got Samuel Booth in goal. Sean Higgins. Sean Higgins. Sean Higgins. About that's that's great to see. To be fair. Uh, Satana, Fagbola, Glenn Matthews, Aaron Norris, Matty Morgan, Christopher Rowney. <laughs> These Sunday names are brilliant. Uh, Niall Cummins and Jerome Wright. And um, Mr. Uh, Robert Worrell. Yeah, I was going to say there's another one. <laughs> and uh, Berkey, awesome. Berkey's on the bench. But that's. I mean, Berkey. Uh, Berkey Alice, Berkey, Alistair. Alistair Brown. Uh, <laughs> Edward Brown. <laughs> Edward Surface. <laughs> Edvard. Edvard. Yes. It's Edvard. Yeah. Oh no way. Yeah. I, did, I, I, I I've definitely seen that on Twitter. I think to be fair. So. No way. Yeah. Um, what a yeah. name. That's a cool name. So there's the team news. Half the press. That's what I like to see. Hopefully we can get a win today. I'm a bit. What's that at the far end? Oh, you know. so that, uh... We're gonna go down and investigate after you've got your pics. Right. Wait. So we're going now. Um, well, so we're, we're walking around and we're like, we've done a ground walk, but there's extra bits that we're just not 100% sure about. I mean, if you can see just... So they will be out of sea. Yeah. So, it so, looks a lot smaller on yeah. the camera. So the right-hand side one there, that's the, ra that's the radio tower, the, the radio station thing yeah. that we pointed out before. But then next to it, they've got a balcony, which is like a tier, it's above the stand, and I, I've got a feeling... It's above the bar. It's above the bar area, and I've got a feeling that that's going to be for... Um, I don't know, is it directors or what? I mean, we're going to f investigate. But then there's also another building down at the far end that's, that's also elevated. It's just, just loads of bits of extra infrastructure and building. So we're going to go and investigate some of it and we'll find out if it's boring. We're not going to say anything about it, but if it's uh, but if we find out, we'll let you know. Because it's just odd. It's, you know, you don't see this sort of thing very often. They've just sort of added extra, like, they put... A porter cabin on top of a porter cabin over there, and then put a balcony on it. It's just like crazy stuff. But yeah, so we'll find out. We're going to go on a wander. All right then. 
looks like it's closed, but it looks like some kind of hospitality box. It does, doesn't it? So there's some chairs and seats up there. I'm assuming you can buy it. Yeah. Um, I mean... Maybe it's a sponsor stand out there. They've, they've fenced it off. Yeah, it is fenced off. So I'm assuming when it's open, you can go up there. And I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that it's like, yeah, some sort of hospitality that you could pay for. So that's different, isn't it? Um, I'm going to ask some of the uh, Trafford boys here if they know what, what that is over there, you know, whether it's on the balcony. Do we know what the balcony is about over there? Is that like directors or something? No, no, we're having hospitality, that. It's, it's a hospitality. Yeah, corporate, corporate, corporate hospitality. Corporate hospitality. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a terraces man. Yes, yes. Yeah, but that's so, where you're allowed to pro, go. Prawn Sandwich Brigade. But that's yeah, where you're allowed yeah. to yes go. Yes, no, uh, <laughs> Prawn Sandwich Brigade. Prawn Sandwich is good. Yeah, yeah. So, burgers, boys? Mm, yes, yeah, the burgers here are all right, yeah. Oh, no, it was good. They're pretty good. Yeah. You don't get bacon very often at football grounds, so I thought that's a, a nice treat. We're going to get the result today, boys. I, I can I feel so. it in my bones. Well, that's what he it's, said. It's totally in our hands. Absolutely. It's, it's like, if we win, and, so if we win, we're safe. If we draw and they draw, we're safe. And if we both lose, it's still safe, so it's like... Yeah, we're going to win today. Yeah, I feel Absolutely. like... It feels like we can't screw They're this safe. up. They're, these, no. are <laughs> these, these are safe. These are safe. Yeah, so, nothing to blame. They've got the foot off the gas. We're going to smash them. That's what I'm feeling. Well, they got beat five 0 last week. Yeah, they beaten five 0 I just hope there's a bit of was it was it Clitheroe we'll... Prescott or someone? Uh, uh, City Liverpool. The beat City, City Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Playoff game team,
Addison 30 yards out. Uh, I can't quite see from here, but yeah. I think it was like Sam, 30 Sam, yards Sam out. Sam parried it, and then obviously one of their players latched onto it and uh, slotted it into an empty net. 1-1. One, one. I'd say, I don't know if that's really they deserve that, to be honest. We've had more. No, I, I don't think they deserve it. I think we've been brighter. Come on, Trevor! What? I love it. <laughs> Hensford are apparently winning as well, right? Yeah, they are one up, so. So at the moment, they are two points above them in the league. Yeah, 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 because... Oh, crikey. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. coming down to it, this. Yeah. We've, been, we've been playing well, so I think. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. Soft that, wasn't it?
Right, so half time, we are here with the Trafford pig. Well, we didn't actually explain the story earlier. So basically, Kids Grow put out some kind of, well, let's call it a in promotional video. 1024. There and was it, a man in Trafford who stole a pig. Yeah, and uh, it was uh, yeah, it was a bit of a promotional video, and they, they suggested that Trafford stole a pig. So someone bought a blow up pig, and we've been chatting about it all, all half. Yeah, we've got your pig, you're not having it back. Yeah, we're taking it home, we're having a barn. With yep. Some apple sauce, not brown sauce, <laughs> or ketchup. Anyway, oh, weird. so forget the pig. Game one all. Um, I thought we played really well the first half. I thought we played pretty well. We've been energetic. We've been up for it. We've created <laughs> yeah. chances. Yeah. We've had a re some really good chances. I yeah, thought. The, the, keep, the keepers. We've made their keeper work. Yeah. I think they've only had a couple of chances. Yeah. And we've just managed to put one yeah. away. You know, but so, but so, really so their, 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 their chance was like what? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't quite sure, but thirty yard, thirty yard effort, and then obviously Sam parried it. You know, did what he needed to do, but someone was there to slot yeah. it in. Yeah, it's just a shame we didn't get a bit, a bit more on the push. Yeah. I mean, he, I suppose it's one of those. It's like it wasn't like he played. He did play it to the side, which is what you would expect the keeper to do. Yeah, um, you know, we're, but we're, obviously because he was down. First to react. Yeah. But either, either way, we're one, we're one all, and yeah. apparently Hensford are losing. It's, at not, it's not apparently. It's true. They are losing. They're two losing one. two one to Clitheroe. So uh, yeah, as things stand, we are safe. But you know, we like to keep things in our hands. We want to win. I think we're um, we've, we've played well. I think we, we should, we're on we're on one course to hopefully get a winner in the second half. Really. Well, hope so, yeah. I mean, my uh, prediction's still on a 2 1, and yours is as well at 3 1. Yes, it is, definitely yeah. still on. And to be honest, the way we're going, I mean, I don't, I don't like to tempt fate, but you know, we're playing well enough, we could score a couple of goals. Well, I, thought, I thought that, we could have got another it, one. You now. know, if I, if I want to be critical, you know, which we don't like to be here on Trafford Tales, but you know, just lacking that bit of cutting edge, I think. We've said that all season. Just yeah, it, up, it's, it's, a sto it's a story of our season, really. It's like that's the, that's why I went for 2 1 rather than 3 1, really. But you know, yeah. I'm hoping, I'm hoping with the crowd behind us, because there is actually a lot more than I thought there was. So behind this stand today, there was, there must have been about 40 of us. Yeah, there's been is, really good really, really good, good following today. So I'm re yeah. really pleased that everyone's up for it and every, you know, everyone's here to support the lads. So it's good. Yeah. Um, if you count yeah. all the officials and players' parents and one dotted around the ground and that, I we've probably got 60 or 70 here. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not far off. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, of, we'll, we'll do the attendance game shortly, so don't, don't you worry about that. No, I'm just saying it's not far It's not far mm. off. Bloody feeling like a home game. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. In terms of the amount of people singing as well, uh, we've been much better today than we have in recent weeks as well in terms of fan. fan performance even in some of the games so I, I would go as far to say as like we've been better today than we did at Vauxhall and we were good at Vauxhall we were quality at Vauxhall but yeah. even better today just in terms of the inventiveness of the songs and, yeah, and, and not being rude. Ev everyone's up for it today everyone's yeah, up for 100%, 100%, it so uh, yeah. yeah I think more the same in the second half I would say if, that, if I was Margie that's what I'd be saying to the boys yeah if we keep going we're going to get a result out of this game yeah. absolutely minimum a draw if we play the way we do with that first half yeah. again yeah. minimum we'll get a draw out yeah. of this game just like I said just, just, just take your chances. I'd love for Burke, Berkey to come on and score a winner. You know oh I mean? yeah, it'd be absolutely yeah. magical. If did. Her heroic, you know what I mean. So that's that's what I'm hoping. That, there's my pretty. I say two one. That's what I said at the start of the day. Uh, <laughs> and um, and I'm hoping that uh, a two one uh, Berkey comes on and scores, makes it two one. In yes. the final, final few minutes. That'd be like the dream. That would be fantastic. Yeah. But I'm thinking we should move soon because they're starting to put balls over the goal. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so um, yeah, we'll we'll see you in the second half. Anyway, so we'll see you soon. Right, so he's gonna miss. He's gonna miss. Oh, so right here he is. Look at there he is. Go. He's fucking done him. He's fucking done him. I got that on camera as well. Right, so this is the uh, the uh, Trafford Tales attendance game. So um, on three. We'll, we'll, well if I don't get a result here today, then I Chris win. has won for the season. Because yeah. Chris, ba ba I'm six four ahead. Games to play, so Chris can only draw um, um, at, at least uh, at most. Sorry. Uh, so basically, if Chris doesn't win, um, <laughs> I'm done for the season. So uh, yeah, so on three. Sorry, I'll just let me. On three, we're sitting one two, then saying it. Yeah. 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 Right, um, one. Forgot my fucking shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Fans forgot his shirt. He was had his shirt off in the first half. He's still, um, he's still got his shirt off now. <laughs> he has. He's got a coat on, so he's a bit more respectable. So anyway, so on three. One, two, two three, forty. Two. Don't even. I said on two. <laughs> I thought you said we said one, two, and then. Uh, but I didn't even say two when you said it. But I'm one, sorry. two, two six, two sixty. Oh my god, we're so close. Aren't we? yeah. Yeah. Is that what you were going to say anyway? I was going to say 260 anyway, yeah. yeah. yeah okay, well, we'll, 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 we'll
We'll see if, it, if it's, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, you massive end, number 10! First off, it's 2 1. So now Cummins again, I mean, he's scoring his second half of the season, hasn't he? It was, um, yeah, it was pretty much an empty net, he just chested it in, didn't he? Well, so, good cross from Gamet, and it took out, took the keeper out completely, yeah. sort of chested it in. 2 1, absolutely brilliant. Dan Matthews just put a robust challenge in, and he sent him off. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see it well enough to see if it was actually a red ball. I, mean, I was going to do that as a separate goal, uh, separate video, but it's fine. <laughs> fine. Well, it's all happening at the same time, Chris. Yeah. So um, yes, uh, we're now down to ten men. So no one's complaining though. No. I, 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 like I said, I didn't see it. I saw. I saw the tackle, but I was like, uh, we're two one up. So that's the main thing that happens. He's not, he's not particularly chuffed about it, Glenn. Yeah. Matthews, Andrew. Oh, oh. So yeah, on, I think from, from my point of view. Turn the shop you to see the Trafford. Take me home, Chelsea Road. Take me home, Chelsea Road. To the place, Blood and Love. Turn the shop you to see the Trafford. Take me home, Chelsea Road. Take me home. Trafford, take me home, take me on Harry Winter, walking along, singing a song, walking in a winter wonderland. There's only one Harry Winter, there's only one Harry Winter, walking along, singing a song, walking in a winter wonderland. Margiabe! Stay! 
two, uh, two, full time, full time. Finished two one. We are safe. We have avoided relegation. Absolutely epic scenes. What are you well, thoughts, Chris? Well, I thought we deserved the win today, and I think overall the season we, we deserve to stay up. Yeah, no, I think I think I think I'd agree with you there. Really, we've had so many draws this season. Like we just had, we've had some bad luck, mm. not taking some chance. I mean, you can say that the league doesn't lie, and the table doesn't lie. Yeah, <coughs> and that would say to me that you know. I mean, yeah. We are seven points clear. Of the given given of the what, spaces given given there, what so. happened, where when when DC left, which you know, I'm not I'm not blaming him for that in any in any, by any stretch. But it's like a lot of players left as well. There was a lot of unrest, and uh, and we still managed to pick up results here and there. Well, the um, way I see it is one of the lowest budget signs in the league. Yeah. DC left with the whole management, with the whole management. Yeah, his totally. assistant, his first team coach, goalkeeping coach as well. He's, a, he's <coughs> a, he was at Clitheroe. Yep, he's, he's gone. So literally, the, all the backroom staff went. Uh, we lost about. Well, he took two or two or three players. Uh, another two or three left of their own accord. Probably more. Um, we lost seven or eight players, and being a low budget side, yeah, uh, trying to get players in yeah. quickly to, to plug holes in that, and and you know. <coughs> For that to have happened after a bit of a mediocre to poor start, yeah, um, it was it was a bit of a challenge, and he's done. And, and Margie did well, yeah. and, um, and I think if if there was a couple of players, and I'm going to name drop some, so if um, if Lambo, yeah, and Scott K had, had managed to play the whole season, and, you know, we would not be in this stayed. position. Yeah. Those two were absolutely central and immense to us earlier in the season but, to get it to hold in that middle and yeah. getting draws and making us hard to beat. But but back to today, you know, I thought I so should run. Dwell on the season too much because we'll do that at the end of the season. Yes. I think generally we're well worth for the win today. You know, I thought we were excellent. You know, we were we looked at it. You know, we the, fired the, up. yeah, we did. We looked fired up. Like you know, the cutting edge at times wasn't you know as was lacking, but that's been the story of our season. I think it's not going to change overnight. Um, they were definitely up for today. They were they, they they wanted it. Looked like they wanted it, which was was great as a response from Witten, where we oh, just, yeah. which we you know. You know, I, I don't like to. Like I said, I'm not singling any players out. We like, look poor at, against Witten today. We looked up for it. If we we look great like that every week. We'd be uh, challenging to get into the playoffs. Would, well, do you know what? I mean, yeah, maybe. And you know, conserv- if I want to be conservative, I'd say we'd definitely be. We'd be nowhere near relegation at the very least. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it's it's a platform to build on. I think it's like let's just be like that every week. And the fans again, you know, credit to them today. They're excellent. You know, much better than they have been in recent weeks. Um, Maybe, well, maybe that's harsh. I don't know, but it's just. Well, not, not we were quiet yeah, last week. Yeah, we, we've been quiet the last few home games, and it's like we got much better away following. But we were excellent today. Fans were, were up for it. They knew that the importance of today's game, and 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 we've done it. We've done it. At, you know, on our own accord, as we said at the start of the game, uh, the vlog, um, results could have gone our way, and we've just still stayed up. But we've we've won. Which means we're safe regardless. We've done it on our own accord. We didn't have to rely on others. Yeah, exactly. Which is excellent. So and we're seven points clear, clear of the relegation <laughs> zone. So it's not even skin of our teeth right now. With one game to go. So we yeah. yeah, we've done it anyway. So um, I don't think there's anything else to add, really, is it, Chris? Uh, I don't think Glenn's was a red card. I think it was a book. Yeah, we, we had a bit of a chat with uh, with with Glenn. Yeah, just after the red card, he came round. He'd, he'd got changed. He come to the stand, and he was having a chat with. Um, with us, and he said uh, he, the player, even you know, the player that he challenged, he said it's you know, obviously you've 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 missed the ball. I've I've got the ball before you, but it's it's a yellow. It's not it's not, yeah. it's not a red. He was he's annoyed, um, quite rightly, you know, as, as well, a player. Well, yeah, season. and and he was frustrated. To be fair, like I said, as long as we as long as we win, but he was like, yeah, but I missed the last game of the season. And, you know, that's what we want from a player. He's gutted that he's going to miss <clears throat> miss a game. We want commitment for Trafford FC. So from my point of view, you know, that that's that's really pleasing to see. Really, yeah. he was he was he was annoyed. He, Quite, you know, part of my language. He's pissed off that, that he'd been sent off, even though you know I spoke to him with literally minutes to go when we were winning two yeah. one. So from 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 my point of view, that's that's excellent to see, really. Yeah, it so, is. Anyway, well, I think that's uh, I think that sort of wraps it all up yeah. then. So um, yeah, until next week, we've got Prescott at home next week. We will definitely be vlogging that. That is the final game 100%. of the season, and it's hopefully going to be a part of the atmosphere now that we've stayed up. Yeah. So we'll um, some scenes from the party afterwards. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So uh, you know, we're in this division for another season, and hopefully we could build on that with Margie and and um, and, 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 and Winter <laughs> and Harry Winter and and Tobes in the uh, the management team. So uh, onwards and upwards, and uh, Viva and Viva Le Trafford. Woo! Mugsy balancing beer on his head, he's fucked it completely. What are you doing? <laughs> You're not in the shot, Leaky. <laughs> that's, that's what she said. <laughs> what are you doing?
<laughs> yeah! Woo! <laughs> Hello! The Red Bears benefit, we're actually on the way back to the We missed the train. And everyone's Give them a glasses back, you dickhead! <laughs> Best bread beard. So, Leaky, how are we feeling? Top of the morning. Yeah, top of the morning. He's after an epic away day. Hey, kids, group, it has been a great away day. <laughs> Put your glasses on, upside down, that's what I like to see. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. How are you feeling? I'm uh, feeling absolutely super. Swallow to it. Woke up this morning feeling fine, just like a banana. Got Trafford FC on my mind. We all stayed up. We all stayed up. We all stayed up. Yeah. <laughs>